to an update out of Texas on that shooting just outside of Dallas and Arlington Lamar High School. Uh, it was outside of the school on the edge of a parking lot uh, as one student is uh, dead and one injured at the hospital. We want to take you out to the press conference here on live now from Fox with officials, the principal and uh, police on the ground in Texas. In here Again, I'm Al Jones, AL. J-O-N-E-S, and I'm the chief of Arlington Police Department. Uh, I just wanted to provide you a quick update on the incident that occurred uh, at Lamar uh, High School this morning. Uh, just before 7 a.m., about 30 minutes, 35 minutes typically before school started, the Arlington Police Department responded to the campus of Lamar High School to investigate a reported shooting. When officers arrived on the scene, they located a male student with an apparent gunshot wound. That student was transported to a nearby hospital in critical condition. It is with great sadness that I announced that the student has died from his injuries. A, fem a female student who was in the area was grazed by gunfire and suffered non-life-threatening injuries. She was transported to a hospital by an adult male that was nearby. Witnesses were able to call 911 dispatch with a good description of the shooter. As officers was responding to the scene, they located an individual that matched that description. The officers surrounded the individual and took him into custody without incident. The suspect is a juvenile male, so we would not be able to release his name, but I can tell you he has been charged uh, with capital murder and additional uh, charges are pending. He is currently being held at the Tarrant County Juvenile Detention Center. We recovered uh, a weapon we believe that was used in the shooting this morning. I uh, just want to make this point known that the shooter never entered the school building and he left the campus immediately after the shots were fired. The motive still remains unclear and the investigation is ongoing. I just really want to thank the Arlington Police Department officers and the Arlington ISD personnel who responded to the incident. Their response was swift. The scene was secure in minutes. We train regularly uh, with the school district, so we're able and we're prepared to handle incidents like this. And I'm extremely proud of the job that everyone did today. On behalf of the department, I would like to extend my deepest condolences to the family of the victims and to all of the students and staff at Lamar High School. Our hearts are with them. We will continue to work lock and step with the district to make schools a safe place for the students to learn. I'll close with this. We need our community's help to ensure that guns do not end up on school campuses. We need gun owners to step up, to be responsible, and to ensure that they properly are securing their firearms so kids don't have access to them. That means using gun safes, gun locks, and not leaving the guns unsecure in cars or other places where kids can get them. With that, I'll turn it over. Thank you. Marcelo Cavazos, Arlington ISD Superintendent, M-A-R-C-E-L-O-C-A-V-A-Z-O-S. Before I get into the details of our response today, I wanted to share our heartbreak. Uh, we prepare for incidents like this, but it's impossible to prepare for the emotion. Today, we're heartbroken heartbroken for the families, the victims, the victim, the staff, the whole Lamar community. And I encourage everyone to continue to keep Lamar High School, Arlington ISD, in your thoughts, your prayers, as we grieve today. Immediately when the shots were fired, our staff at Lamar High School opened the doors, brought the students in, and went to an immediate lockdown. That lockdown lasted for several hours as the Arlington Police Department conducted their investigation. At approximately 11 a.m., we began the reunification process 
here at the Athletics Complex. Uh, I want to thank our staff, our principal, uh, and all our staff that worked on this reunification process as well. Schools deserve to be a safe place for students to learn and to grow every day. And uh, today, we're heartbroken. Uh, we will continue to work with the Arlington Police Department as they conduct their investigation. We will not have school tomorrow at Lamar High School, and we'll have counselors available on Wednesday for any student or staff that needs help. And we will continue to provide that service as long as it's needed. I want to personally thank the Arlington Police Department for their partnership every day, but specifically today. They have our full support as they conduct this important investigation. Turn it over to the principal. Andrew Hagman, principal of Lamar High School, A-N-D-R-E-W-H-A-G-M-A-N. -E I want to say how thankful I am to the Lamar staff who responded very promptly to help get students into a safe position and to tend to the students who were hurt. I'm so proud of the efforts today. And I'm very, very proud of our students and for how they responded. It was before school started and the fact that the kids had to respond as quickly as they did um, to such a tragedy and to such an urgent situation, I'm, I'm just beyond grateful and I'm beyond thankful for how well they followed our instructions, they listened to APD and to our staff, and I'm thankful that they're safe today. Yes, they are. No, we're still investigating. We're trying to determine motive. Um, we still have an ongoing investigation. We still have a lot of interviews to get through. Um, but right now, we still don't know the motive for what transpired today or why it transpired. The, uh, arrest as far as where and how quickly? Uh, so it was within minutes. As uh, soon as the call came out, our officers responded to Lamar High School. Uh, one of the patrol officers who was responding uh, got the description of the uh, shooter, and we were able to get him in custody within minutes. Chief, what kind of uh, what kind of gun did y'all recover? Did y'all find any ammunition? And you're talking about keeping guns safe. Where did this kid get the gun? Uh, right now, we're still uh, working on an investigation and trying to determine where that gun came from. Uh, right now, we just don't know. Uh, so the incident, the incident happened uh, just prior to the officers getting on campus, uh, but they were en route uh, when the call came out. Um, so we were that we were in, uh, at the campus in probably minutes. Sorry, Chief, you didn't answer. Um, what kind of gun? And did y'all find any ammunition? Uh, right now, we are not going to release what type of gun it is. Um, as I said, this is still an active investigation. I think this was just truly a tragic situation. Uh, bringing our officers on campus, probably, I don't think that that would be necessary in this case. Uh, but we're always open for ideas and trying to do things better. hoy uh, es algo que pasó uh, muy desgraciadamente uh, los empleados de Lamar High School metieron a todos los estudiantes 
y seguraron todo el, el, el edificio. No, we're not going to release that information at this time. All three of them were students uh, at the school, but you know, various age groups. Can you explain? So I thought I thought there were school resource officers on all campuses. At some, you know, I thought there were two. So can you explain that? I'm sorry, Superintendent. Sure. So let me explain it. So uh, prior to the officers arriving on duty, which they start at seven o'clock. The shooting, uh, the shooting happened around 6, uh, 6.55 6, this morning, so it was five minutes before the officers were on campus. Well, I'm sure that there is going to be ongoing discussion to make sure that our kids are safe. That's our number one priority is our kids and we want to make sure that we're providing them a safe environment. So we'll, we'll talk about it as we move forward. Uh, that we don't know. I think we saw some witnesses that were in the area that made the call. You guys, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that there's video cameras. Uh, did, um, is there any video of this incident? If y'all saw the video, can you just give me your visceral reaction to seeing what you saw? Uh, yes, there was video of it. Um, Unfortunately, I, I can't get too far into it because we're still trying to dig into determine why, and we just don't want to give out too much information on the whole of the, of the incident itself. You just say, oh, uh, I, well, here it is. As a dad, I, I was disturbed um, because it's you know it, it's a kid. Um, this is a, what I would say was very senseless act of violence. Um, but you know we're concerned and we're just trying to move forward and making sure that we're uh, these kids are safe in the future. Are we all going to make sure that other students are safe when they return? I think Wednesday, you're saying, Superintendent. Yeah. So obviously, uh, when you have an incident like this, you're going to uh, we're going to definitely increase our patrol, uh, close patrols of the schools. Uh, we want to make sure that the students that are going back to school feel safe, and that's what it's really about. We're trying to get them back to their new normal. Uh, it was close to the steps. Yes. And the suspect never went inside the school? Nope, the suspect never went inside the school. Uh, at, no, and at any point. Uh, after the shooting, uh, the suspect took off running. We do have metal detectors that we use them at the school. Um, and again, this happened outside the school, so before school started. Um, right now, from what we see on the video, they were just sitting around, sitting around waiting for school to, to, to start. Um, we don't know, and I can't confirm that there was some type of beef. Um, we're still trying to learn why it happened, and I think that once we learn why, I think then we can actually uh, start digging back to see if there was some type of beef over spring break. Alright, we got time for one or two more questions. What's the condition of the other student? Uh, the other student was struck with shrapnel, light grays uh, on the, the JK area. Also, uh, some parents were stressed and concerned about the length of time it took for the, to be reunited with their students. Can you talk a little bit about that process and why it took almost five hours? Yeah, no, the reunification process is a really important process. Uh, it does take time because we're making sure that number one, everyone is safe and transported to a different location. As the chief mentioned, it is an active crime scene, so we need to not be at Lamar High School. Uh, and that transportation does take some time, but it also takes time for parents to get here and to actually uh, verify that they're the parents of the students. Uh, so uh, I want to thank the parents for their patience. I know that this has been a very stressful day for everyone, including staff and students and community. Uh, but I thank them for their patience as, as we go through this. Thank you, everybody.
You're just listening in there to updates from police outside of Dallas, Texas at Arlington Lamar High School. Tragically, uh, like you heard, one student is dead and one more injured after that shooting on the edge of campus there around 655 early this Monday morning. One at least one male was a uh, student was shot and another female was hit by shrapnel that like, grazed her. The male student later died from his injuries at the hospital. The female's injuries are not life threatening. Of course, the superintendent there said it is uh, they are heartbroken by this. Police believe it may have been a targeted shooting. They don't believe the shooting was attempting to shoot students inside the school.